All right, y'all, welcome back to another video. <clears throat> my bad if I sound a little weird right now. My allergies bothering me. <clears throat> but today we got a 2013 Nissan Altima, and we gonna be doing an AC compressor on that today. A lot of my AC compressor videos get a lot of views, so I guess I might as well show this one. I've been trying to record videos all week, but my dumb ass, <clears throat> every time I record videos, I leave my SD card at home and that doesn't benefit me at work. So today I finally bought my SD card. I'm gonna be showing y'all guys today how to do an AC compressor on a 2013 Nissan Maxima. I mean, Altima, sorry. It's 2.4, 2.5. Relatively simple. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, obviously, is take the tire off because we, got, we need to take the belt off. And it's easier to get the belt off with the tire off to the wheel well. So let's get this tire taken off first and then we'll go to the second step. All right. Also, next one, I'm gonna go ahead and take the belt off. It's kind of in a little weird area, so I'm not gonna be able to show you guys, but it's fairly simple. You gotta take the belt off easy. So I'm gonna take the belt off and then we'll get to the next step. All right, so I got the belt off, and here's the compressor right here at the bottom. You have four screws, two at the bottom, two at the top. Since the car is already up, I'm gonna do the bottom first. Um, and these look like they should be 12 millimeter screws. Um, so yeah, let me get my phone. So there's our two screws for that. There's a plug here, but I don't think this plug needs to come out. The plug needs to come out is up top. So I'm gonna leave that one alone. And the way I'm gonna get these other two screws so that I don't have to go way to the top is, I think I can do it this way. Get my camera set up. But let's, matter of fact, let me bring the car down a little bit first, cause it's too high. All right, so as you can see, the compressor right there and the other two screws are on the top can't really see in there yeah, you guys not really gonna be able to see in there so since you guys can't see in there I'm gonna just move the camera out of the way because it's kind of in my way take those top two screws out and then I guess I'll talk to you guys when I get it out or actually Brandon can back yeah I'm gonna just take these two screws out first all right, y'all, so I got the compressor pretty much all the way off. Only thing, I, uh, only thing we got to do next is get the two lines off, the two AC lines. They both look like they're 10s. You can't really see them in the back back there, obviously. But there's two 10 millimeters back there. And you guys are not going to be able to watch me do this either because there's no space. So I'm going to take those two lines off and then get back with y'all after I get them holes off. All right, y'all. So, we got it out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What the heck put up? That's the new one. What I got to do with the old one? Oh. There's the old one. Down there. Yep. So, yeah, it's pretty easy, y'all. It's nothing that's hard at all. Literally took me 30 minutes to get it out. Unfortunately, I couldn't show y'all as much because there's no space in here because you gotta bring it through the side, not through the top or the bottom, so. Yeah, it's real easy. It comes right out of the wheel well. You just move this line right here down and it comes right out of here. Really simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the new one back together. These, oh, I mean, unless your paper tells you that it's already filled with the right refrigerant, I always recommend you dump it out and use whatever goes in there. I have my pack 46 right here that I use. Make sure you fill it up to the right amount. Normally, you don't really have to fill up the compressors that much because there's still uh, oil in the system. You don't want to put too much oil, but I put like an ounce or two in there just to make sure. So yeah, let's get this thing buttered up. Then we're going to start putting her back in. I guess I'll let y'all watch me while I... This one's dry, I believe. All right, so I got my compressor filled up with oil. Oh, crap. Well, I got to put some more of that oil just popped out. So another thing I forgot to mention is when you put oil in the compressors, this one's uh, fairly small, but some bigger compressors, but I mean, you gotta do it to any compressor. Um, whenever you put the oil inside of it, make sure that 
I think I hate this tripod sometimes. So freaking huge. So when you put oil into the compressor, what you want to do is spin the compressor wheel, not the not the pulley, the actual clutch. Spin the clutch about five to ten times and make sure that the oil gets all the way throughout the whole system so it doesn't burn up when you put it inside the car. That's just going to spin automatically and you don't want to burn up the pump soon as you put it in there. So my fluid was filled to the top of here and now I turned it and it's going out of this side. Another thing is when you're turning the compressor, you don't want to turn it too fast. You turn it too fast, it'll start shooting the oil out like it just did me. And that's not so fun. When you're wasting the oil, you got oil all over the place like me, it's all over my hands, all over my arms. So yeah, make sure that you guys put it in, spin the compressor, um, spin the clutch a couple times, make sure the fluid gets all the way around, you'll hear it squishing around, and then you put it back in the car. So now we've done that part, I'm going to go ahead and start getting this thing put back in. Once it's in, I'll update you guys and we'll go from there. All right, you guys, so it's in there. Everything's back in, my plugs are plugged up, my bolts are all tight. Next thing I'm gonna do now is put the belt back on. And, oh, I didn't show you guys, but I took the fender lining out too, just this one part. And it folds in half, we just put the other part behind here. Then I gotta retake the whole thing out. It's too much work for no reason. Just take this one half out. So I'm gonna put the belt back on, then put the fender lining back on. Then we're gonna go up top, put some Freon in it. Well, evac it first. You gotta evac the system. Then put the Freon in it. Then we're gonna see if it works good. So let me get to that real quick. All right, guys, so we are done with the whole AC compressor thing. It's in, the car is running, and right now I got my thermometer in here to let me know how cold it is sitting still. Right now it's ice. Anyways, like I was saying, ooh, we almost at 40 degrees, jet. Oh, that bit icy. Let me see if I can pick that up. Look at that. We had like 45 degrees sitting still. And I don't know if y'all know, but when you're driving, it gets colder. So I think that was a successful job today. It's supposed to be 60 degrees in here. It's 45 degrees in here. Can't argue with that. But anyways, yeah, thank y'all all for watching. That's how you do an AC compressor on a 2013 Nissan Altima 2.5. Everybody, y'all, y'all know, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Boy.